Hello, this is Carrie Fell. Welcome to my studio. So on my birthday, I was woken up by my family and taken out for breakfast. We ordered large breakfast meals, which we then ate all day long at home. <laughs> and that's the only thing we ate that day was the breakfast and the doggy bags from the breakfast. There was so much food, but so good. I mean, we're still eating pancakes and hash browns for supper and it was just the best. Anyway, after we went out for breakfast, we went downtown. It was a day that I was waiting for because an independent bookstore was opening on our main street in downtown Sydney on Charlotte. And I wanted to go on the opening day because who doesn't love a bookstore? So the bookstore is called On Paper Books. I got this cool tote bag along with a happy birthday. Our family spent uh, a bunch of money in there on Christmas presents, stuff for us. Um, but for me, for myself, because I have to buy my own birthday presents these days, I picked up a sketchbook. Now, I went for the heavy paper. So this is a watercolor sketch album and it is 280 grams. So it is nice and heavy and I think there's 24 pages. And it has the interesting binding. This is the opening edge and this is the binding edge and so it will lay flat. Um, when it opens up. So I'm looking forward to cracking this open. I will probably make a video of it once I do, but I've got to finish some other sketchbooks before I'm going to allow myself to, to open this one. And then right around the corner from the bookstore, oh, I should say I'm going to leave a link to this bookstore in the description below. It's uh, new and used books, an independent seller, so very exciting. Um, that makes two bookstores on the downtown Main Street, so it's a destination, people. Right around the corner from the bookstore is my favorite yarn store, which is the Bobbin Tree. And I picked up a few things from there, too, because it's my birthday. Gotta buy myself birthday presents. And yarn, right? It's got to be yarn. I picked up two things. Hang on. One of the things I picked up was my latest nest box. Now, I haven't opened this yet, so I'm going to do this um, in another video. But uh, yeah, so stay tuned for this and find out what this is all about. And this bag it's all my goodies from the bobbin tree. So, so the first thing I picked up was a cone of Harrisville Shetland. Now I love this stuff. It uh, it's 100% wool, and it it doesn't feel the greatest on the cone. But once this is wet finished, it's beautiful. It's soft. It makes gorgeous blankets. It makes scarves too. Not as soft as something like merino, but um, mm, warm. Incredibly warm. I have a shawl that I made out of Harrisville Shetland and on cool days I wrap myself in that and it is toasty warm. So this color is going to... I have a warp. I'm gonna go get the warp. I think this is going to be the perfect weft for it. Hang on. This is a warp that I made. I think I, I don't know if I made it on video or not, but basically what I did is I, I pulled uh, three, four colors from the hat and dyed this warp up. What I did was I did bands of rhodamine red, which is pink, uh, turquoise and lime green. And then once those colors were set, I immersed the whole thing in a yellow dye bath. 
So that changed some of the colors, changed the rhodamine red to an orange and changed the turquoise to a green. Anyway, this is kind of a tutti fruity warp. How long is this? I think it's a, I think it's a hundred ends, but I'm not sure how long it is. It looks like it'll probably make me a couple of scarves by the looks of it, or maybe a blanket. Let's see. I think that might work. It's picking up these colors here. Hmm. Anyway, let's see what else I got. Off the sale shelf. Three cones of 100% merino. Now this is 218 merino. Very fine thread. I got it off the sale shelf, so I just took whatever was left, which was three cones. And so um, not a lot of color choice, but that's the way I do it. I buy yarn that appeals to me, or that's on sale. <laughs> and I then design a project once I've seen this. Um, and now with being able to dye, I can, you know, over dye if I want to. This light green might get over dyed. We'll see. So this is a merino on a cone, which is um, I've never used before. You can see here how fine it is. It's a very fine wool as these cones roll off my lap. So this is going to make some um, very fine scarves or shawls or, or something. So, and my final purchase is more dyes. It seems like every time I go into the bobbin tree, I pick up a few more little containers of dye. So this time I picked up spiced pumpkin wine rose and burgundy. I figured I needed something in the orange and red category. I've been we uh, I've been dying a lot of blues lately. So uh, let's get some oranges in here. And I will probably make a video where I try out these colors for the first time. Stay tuned for that. Did I mention that the owner of the My Fair Ladies and the Bobbin Tree is my favorite yarn enabler and friend, Janet Dawson. So she is always very helpful in selling me yarn and more yarn. So it was a really good birthday. I uh, have all these goodies now. It was quite a, a good creative haul and look for the videos as I try out these new products that I picked up. Later on, on my birthday, I had a quick visit from Janet Dawson. Now, I'd already loaded up on yarn from her store, so that's not what she brought me for my birthday. This woman knows me. Not one, but two packages of my favorite chips delivered to my door. Thank you, Janet. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you next week.